There we go. Okay, we're going to check the... Okay. Now it's much better. Greetings, 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 royals. Greetings to you all. Great royals. How are we today? Hope we are all doing great. It's a beautiful Friday. Okay, uh, let's just get ready. Get ready for our N inspiration for you recap. Okay, so we just want to be sure we are all set and ready. Okay. We just want to be very sure we are ready. <laughs> okay, we are. All right. Um, greetings, greetings, royals. Greetings to you all. Greetings to you all, royals. How are we today? Hope we are all doing great. Happy Friday. Happy Gratitude Friday. And you know how we do it always, royals as we share um the inspirations for the week um during, i mean when we do the recap so we're going to look at uh all the inspirations for this week you know for this beautiful recap okay so before we even start before we start how was your week hope you had a beautiful week Hope you won, hope you took charge, hope you conquered, hope you are possessing all the blessings that belongs to you, okay? So, like we all know, royals, an inspiration for you is for everybody. And we all need inspirations. We all need the word of God to inspire us, you know, for our next level each and every single day. What can we be without the word of God? Like what can we be without the inspirations of the word? Because, you know, for us to be strong, to be sound, you know, to be active, to be productive, to, to you know, to produce results in all that we do, we need to be energized in our spirits and we need to be boosted by the word of God. But then how do you start your day without an inspiration? It can't be, right? And definitely, I mean, you cannot start your day without a prayer. You cannot start your day without that inner, you know, uh, uh, inspiration that will inspire you to first the new day and, you know, carry on on your duties to do well. Okay, so an inspiration for you, like I always tell you Royals, that it's a gift. It's a gift and we will ever be grateful to God for it. And I'm always very grateful for the platform, grateful for all that which God is doing through an inspiration for you. You know, it's blessing me so much. I am learning a lot from an inspiration. I always tell you this is a special blessing to me you know because i always get inspired by an inspiration for you and i grow every day i am strengthened every day because of an inspiration for you i don't know about you but as for me i'm really benefiting you know i'm so blessed to you know read the inspirations each and every single day and to also be challenged to make use of them, to activate them, you know, to learn from them. So like I always tell you, Royals, it is very important for us to grow, you know, our uh, ourselves. Like the role, like the whole entire you, which is 
personal development is very important you know it's very important for you to grow spiritually it's very important for you to grow mentally it's very important for you to grow physically financially emotionally and in all other areas of your life you know because god that's what god wants god wants us to grow god wants us to be the best version of ourselves so what i love about an inspiration for you is that it always challenges you to bring out that inner diamond inside of you to bring out that inner version of you that inner beautiful you that inner humble you that inner you know virtuous you that inner strong you you know all that is very important royal so that's what an inspiration for you does it searches within you and brings out that great you makes you better and yes you have to go out and produce results so let's look at the inspirations let me not really say a lot about it i will talk and talk and talk but i don't want to go there because of time uh now we're going to be looking at the inspiration for monday how was the inspiration uh for monday like so let's look at it so i'm just trying to make you understand the importance of an inspiration for you so it's very very important royals everybody has to be inspired one way or the other you know for you to carry on your work and so forth so let's look at the inspiration for monday monday said revisit your goals royal do your goals checklist and tick what you have achieved set your target and what you are yet to achieve oh sorry set your target on what you are yet to achieve and take action immediately so let me take it all again revisit your goals royal do your goals checklist and tick what you have achieved set targets on what you are yet to achieve and take action immediately time is not on your side you have to move fast okay so it says set targets you need to revisit your goals remember when the year started or let's even say when the month started you wrote down your goals you know some of us like obviously for the whole year some they call them the new year resolutions and so forth but then you wrote down your goals and said listen this is what i want to achieve this is what i want to do and this is how i want to do it but then later on you get carried away by so many things and maybe forget to go back to your notebook and look at your graph of progress in your life to see, okay, what have I done for myself really? What have I achieved for myself? Am I really making progress in my life? Or maybe I'm spending most of my time doing nothing because it's very important that we make use of our time i think we spoke about this on the last week's inspiration you know when we were talking about time i think yeah that was this because the good thing about inspiration is you can always go to our an inspiration for you uh recap on our youtube channel at fountain insights tv and watch the recap and even on all these platforms you know that is if you are uh online like on your social platforms apart from that you can always go to your youtube channel okay so we would we spoke about the time and so forth so now it says revisit your goals royal do your goals checklist okay ask yourself when was the last time i really sat down and looked at my goals the goals that you made for yourself you know and you said okay you know what this is what you are going to do this year have you really went uh, gone to your notebook have you checked your your your, your goals checklist what have you achieved do you think you have done so much like um do you think you have made progress or you feel like oh, i still need to do more and so forth so the important part is to revisit your goals royal go back to your goals look at your goals and check them anything that you have achieved you take and say okay this one i've achieved this one i've made it the ones that you haven't even started you need to start doing them immediately because time is already gone the year is about to round up and you don't want to be left behind ask yourself maybe there's some of the things that you're doing 
and they're not really useful we're just spending so much time doing things that are not really useful that will not help you that will not benefit uh i mean your growth in that way then you can shift your focus from such things to better things that you know these are very important and need to attend to them and they must be achieved so it says it's three months plus weeks to the end of the year royal the question is are you still very excited about your goals like you were when you started the year are you still very excited excited about your goals like when you started the year how was your how was your excitement like you know all the things that you said you said i want to do this i'm going to achieve this i'm going to do this and so forth okay are you still excited do you still have that you know uh a va -va do you still have that excitement for your goals or maybe you have just fed it away like the excitement is fed it away you are just bored you're like oh you know what i don't think this is all real you know after all you need to also make realistic goals royals not unrealistic goals you need to set realistic goals your long-term your short-term goals the ones that you know okay i can achieve this and how am i going to achieve it and when am i going to achieve and so forth don't make unrealistic goals like you say you know what by uh, december i should have uh bought like two houses and you know you know um bank account you don't even have an amount that can cater for two houses so don't be unrealistic when you're setting your goals you need to be realistic when setting up your goals and with your faith that okay i can i will achieve this i know by the grace of god you know so it says when was the last time you checked your goals with excitement and strength to keep going are you still looking forward to keep pushing or that excitement is gradually fading away be fired up to keep going that was the hashtag be fired up to keep going you have to be fired up to keep going for your goals royals revisit your goals have your progress grow, graph with you to measure your progress time is not on your side the year is about to okay let's see the year is about to round up are you happy with what you have on your table so far take action you that was the that's the hashtag hashtag take action you can do all things through christ who strengthens you royal so be excited about your goals look forward to doing more exploits always remember the spirit of excellence is at work in you okay so don't forget that every time you sit down to set goals every time you sit down to do something always Put God first, royals. Never forget that everything that you do in your life, it starts with God. And it starts with your, your, your prayer, your relationship with God. When you set your goals, when you, you, you plan and say, okay, this is how I want my day to be. This is how I'm, what I'm going to do. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that God is part of your work okay god is part of your work so he has to be part of your work you can do it remember the bible says that you can do all things through christ who strengthens you so you have to be excited are you still excited like the way you were when the year started or maybe you were like gradually you know fading away getting bored and so forth you need to be excited for your goals excited for your vision excited for what god has entrusted you with okay so you need to revisit your goals royal go back to your goals go back to your goals look at your work look at your achievements are you ask yourself am i making progress what's going on assess yourself paul said examine yourself so you need to examine yourself check yourself am i really making progress what should i do where should i correct myself and so forth so everything starts with god don't forget that okay so that was the inspiration for monday so let us look at tuesday how was tuesday like okay so tuesday says plant your seeds in a fertile ground and patiently wait for them to germinate royal give your seeds attention by watering and cultivating them until they are fully grown and ready for reaping there's joy in reaping where you sowed 
it says plant your seeds in a fertile ground okay so let's look at it there's it says there's joy in reaping where you sow. there's joy in reaping where you sow. you know there's so many people that likes to benefit to um other people's blessings to other people's sweat other people's strength and so forth but then it's more exciting and joyful when you reap where you sowed. You know, you played a certain role in achieving, I mean, in, in, in planting for certain projects, for certain stars, and like personal life and so forth. When it's your time to reap, you enjoy it. But then when you just love to benefit, use other people and let them do all the hard works and you just show up like that, you know, big man, you know, and just say, you know what, oh yes, we worked, we worked, guys, oh there we are. But then plant, it says plant your seeds in a fertile ground. You have to plant your seeds in a fertile ground. Let's look at what, let's find out what are those type of seeds. Like, okay, at this stage right now, let me talk about like for example where you are you'll be like okay right there's no farm where i am what are you saying i must plant seeds i must just go out and start planting seeds okay let's find out what are the seeds what type of seeds are we talking about here don't be happy and comfortable that's what the inspiration say don't be happy and comfortable to always benefit from blessings you never contributed in either by your idea by your prayer by labor by money, by love, by your giving, and your input. Because those are all seeds, okay? Those are all seeds. Your labor, your idea, your prayer, your money, your love, your giving, your input. Just giving an idea or like adding on to somebody's idea or maybe sharing an input and so forth. It's something, it's a seed. So your prayer is your seed. How much you pray will determine the results that you get. So the more you pray, the more you thank God, the more you appreciate Him, the more you decree, you declare, and so forth, the more you receive. Same applies with your money. Where do you put in your money? What seeds do you plant for your money? Whether it's in your investment, whether it's in your seedings for givings, whatever okay yes as abraham said you can enjoy the blessings of your forefathers but there is joy unspeakable when you activate the word of god yourself and watch it bring things into manifestation you know this yes we are the seed of abraham yes we are receiving from our forefathers we are benefiting from them yes of course we are his generation we are you know we have already been spoken even the, in the bible that even the generations to come will be blessed because of you abraham but now yes we are the seed of abraham that doesn't mean as the seed of abraham you're not supposed to do your work that doesn't mean as the seed of abraham you're not supposed to pray that doesn't mean as the seed of abraham you're not supposed to give and so forth so that means but there's joy unspeakable when you activate the word of God yourself and watch it bring things into manifestation. Imagine that joy, that inner joy inside of you that you were, you prayed and you see results. That you gave and you see results. That you gave an idea and there is the idea gave birth to many ideas. That you 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 shared something to somebody and they made use of it. It produced results. You share you show some love to others and they also show love to you and and so forth. Like imagine the joy of seeing all those things coming to manifestation. Imagine you go and plant your you flower and you begin to see it bloom you begin to see it glowing there's joy by oh, when you see such things happening everything you do in life is a seed positively or negatively you will reap from it what type of seeds are you planting in your business in your workplace your loved ones it is it do you also take time to cultivate and water them you can happily reap where you sowed, Royal. Be inspired to plant seeds. Okay? It says you need to be inspired to plant seeds. What type of seeds? Seeds of love, 
state of respect, state of humility, you know, seat of prayer, seat of studying the word of God, seat of making declarations, seat of speaking to yourself, you know, a seat of worshiping, seat of praising, seat of speaking to your business. You know, you declare what you want to see in your business. Those are seeds. The words that you speak for your business, they are your seeds. The words that you speak to your children, they are seeds. They will come out. They will produce results. You know, in your marriage, what type of seeds do you sow? Are you ever nagging? Are you ever complaining? Are you ever saying, I, I regret being in this marriage. I regret doing this. I, 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 I wish there's something else that I could do. I wish I can come on. Oh, what type of seeds? Because everything that you say with your mouth is a seed. And it will produce results. Positively or negatively. So it's up to you, Royal. How do you... Uh, water and cultivate your seed cultivate them with love with prayer and so there's so much that you can do you know you need to build you need to build don't destroy with your mouth build your children with your mouth build your children with your hands by speaking laying hands on them and so forth you know because those are very important things especially for parents you say what type of seed speak words of power over your children those are seeds the ways that you speak they will produce results you will see them manifesting in the life of your children speak healthy concerning their bodies you know their their intelligence when they go to school as there's so much that you can say to your children according to the word of god so those are all seeds in your life it's seeds and you know you need to be inspired to plant good seeds every time right you are blessed you are protected. You will never lack in your life. All things are working together for your good. In your coming in and in your going out, you are blessed. Everything that you touch, everything that you lay your hands to do, it prospers. Because you are a chosen generation. You are set apart for nations. You have to speak. Those are seeds. Seeds of words. They will come to manifestation. What type of seeds you speak to yourself? You know, I remember... I actually have a testimony of that, you know, I think one day I will maybe show you, you know, uh, one of the things that I would say every time was even concerning myself, like my body every time, because I remember there was a time that I really lost so much weight and it was so bad because of so many things and so forth. But then I didn't even like the way my body was. I didn't even like everything. And, you know, I was just frustrated every time, but then I will say, okay, God, I see this is the condition that I'm in, but it's not what I want. This is what I want, you know, and I begin to speak to myself. I'll speak to my body. I'll speak to my health. I'll speak every time and I keep doing it. I will be speaking to myself. Before you know it, I, everything just transformed. Everything changed. Even if you see my older picture and now you'll see there's a difference. You know, all those are the manifestations of the word of God. And I see them coming to pass. So I will keep declaring. I'll speak to myself. I'll speak words of power. I'll declare I'm healthy. I'm strong. Everything around me. My body is healthy. And my flesh is coming back. I will speak, you know. I know it sounds crazy sometimes. But I'll do all those things. I'm healthy my skin my flesh i will be speaking and like i was even telling my 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 mom i think it was yesterday and my daughter i'm like ha i gained so much weight ha i feel like i need to also go for the gym again now i need to i'm trying to find a way of reducing myself again because i feel like ah, ah this is now you know getting out of hand now but what i'm trying to say is those things work royals we have to make use of them so they, those are seeds you see that so i cannot just tell you what i'm not doing okay i cannot just share the word of god that i i don't practice because the more i share the word i the more i'm learning as well so you see that's the inspiration royal so let's look at wednesday let's try to be fast right now so wednesday is saying wednesday so don't forget your words are your seeds right everything that you do whether you love humility or kindness to other people and so forth i also like to talk about kindness and those are very important things as well your kindness and so forth you need to be very careful with the type of words that you speak because they are very important okay 
now let's look at wednesday planning is key it it gives you direction and light as to how you can achieve your goals don't live a as long life okay plan for your goals strategically it says plan for your goals strategically you can do great things the holy spirit is your helper so you need to plan plan your life planning is key royal it's very key to plan you need to plan your day plan your week plan your month yes you may not you may say but what if the challenges come and i might go that i should know what's going to happen tomorrow no you are not god but you are a child of god and god knows your yesterday today and your tomorrow and he protects you every time so he is the one who wants us to be productive as royal people we are of productivity royals okay you need to plan your life plan your day okay this is what i want to do this is what i want to achieve this is how i'm going to do it you plan planning is key it gives you direction and light as to how you can achieve your goals so you need to plan strategize okay i have my goal but then how am i going to achieve the goal you plan it okay so let's read what the inspiration is saying then we add okay imagine going to a place you have never been to a place you don't have an idea how it looks like without any directions as to how you must get there how about being told to go to a country that you have never uh you have no idea where it is without having to look at the map or ask for directions so can you see the picture of not planning it's like being told to go to a certain place without directions you, they, they, you don't have a gps you don't have the map you don't even know where to get to what to do you don't have the directions but you just told go that's how life without planning is like okay and then it says it doesn't sound good right well can you believe that's how others have lived their li entire lives some even um went as far as to the grave without direction thank god for you royal you have an opportunity to learn and be better one of the best ways to live in a proactive life is planning for your goals when you plan you get directions planning becomes a boundary to distractions and limitations it gives you focus and energizes you my your spirit mind and body to be more productive so when you plan your life okay you become more productive when you plan yourself and say there we go thank god <laughs> thank god we are back okay so we are we are talking about planning right so we're just going to continue so when you plan you get directions planning becomes a boundary to distractions and limitation it gives you focus and energizes your spirit mind and body to be more productive so when you plan when you plan your life you plan your goals you plan how you want to achieve you will become productive and planning will limit limitations will set boundaries for limitations and distractions because you plan today come what may come you need to achieve all that which you planned and that is the honest truth royals okay so you need to plan plan for your day plan how you're going to achieve the goals and strategically arrange this is how i'm going to do it and now we have to achieve it because it's better when you plan it that way you draft it that way you know it's just like putting everything on the table so it's just like an architect you know and you draft everything and say okay this i wanted to be there this i wanted to be there this i wanted to be there this i want to be there okay the house is going to stand like this and the building will be like this and so forth so when you're done you will get all the workers to come together with their different you know uh, uh um experiences with their their, their 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 roles and say okay you are going to do this you do this you do this and then everything comes together How, why because you planned and you strategically put everything in place already on your table so that's how your life ought to be don't live a life of 
like anyhow you just do things anyhow you are just waking up in the morning you're just going you come back you sleep you go you come back you sleep you go you come back you sleep that's not the life that's not what god wants for us royals god wants the best for us so we need to do the best so plan your life plan your goals and with the help of god i can guarantee you that you cannot fail okay so let's try to be very fast now let's do thursday we are on thursday okay so we are about to round up you have been quiet that's what the inspiration is saying you have been quiet for a long time it says you have been quiet for a long time now royal it's enough okay it's enough don't let even these little demons get used to your silence. You have to roar like a lion with some declarations and affirmations. Okay? So you have been quiet. I know you have. You know yourself, right? You know. Okay, I'm not trying to point fingers. I'm not trying to condemn you. But I'm trying to remind you that is enough. I mean, I'm trying to remind you that you have to wake up. Okay? You need to come out of that comfort zone. There's a lot to do. All right. So you need to roar like a lion with some declarations and affirmations. Okay. So you have been quiet and you know you have, right? You haven't been praying for a while. You haven't, Royal. You know you haven't. You know when was the last time you prayed? When was the last time you made some declarations for yourself? Tell the truth. Be honest with yourself. When was the last time you prayed? When was the last time you studied the word? So we're not trying to point one another, but that's the honest truth. You have been quiet. You know you have. So listen to this one. When you understand the impact of prayer, declarations, and affirmations, you will never stop talking. It will be like you are abusing your tongue because every second of your breath, you would want to say a powerful word that will make impact in your life and others. Okay? And then it says, Have you ever felt like something is holding your mouth to not utter a word? Maybe you want to speak to yourself, pray, affirm, make declarations, and even read your Bible, but you somehow feel held by something like tiredness or an activity that will occupy you for the whole the entire time take that lesser demonic spirit that uh, that wants to bind and keep you on the small level of bondage the secret is in talking royal if you don't talk results won't be that much you must speak that's the hashtag have a daily word and prayer uh, have a daily word and prayer declarations and affirmations challenge plan your uh plan daily to plant seeds of powerful words in your garden of life okay so we're talking about the power the inspiration is talking about the power of declarations the power of prayer the power of affirmation the power of you know speaking to yourself that it's very important that you speak to yourself you speak words of power, you pray, you you declare, you study the word because it's very important to do that. Okay? So when you understand the importance of it, when you know the when you understand the impact it makes in your life, the, how it makes some changes in your life, you would want to speak each and every single day, Royals. So it's very important for you to speak to yourself, like we've already been sharing, right? Look at yourself on the mirror, look at yourself, you speak, speak words of power. For yourself everything around you need to speak declare pray okay so that's that real so friday today's friday and it's gratitude friday we are rounding up and this is what the gratitude i mean uh the inspiration for friday is saying on gratitude thank your heavenly father for a new beautiful day every day you need to thank your heavenly father for the new beautiful day thank you for the showers of blessings Thank him for his love and his presence in your life. Be grateful, royal. Okay, so you need to thank your heavenly father, right? Then let's hear what the inspiration says. It's a new day filled with blessings. 
okay so you know friday i love fridays right before we even go there you know i love fridays i love gratitude fridays it's an inspiration for you recap so now we are rounding up we are talking about gratitude friday now because today's friday so we're going to be counting our blessings celebrating dancing thanking god appreciating him for his greatness throughout this whole week okay god the creator of the universe and the universe itself it says God, the creator of the universe and the universe itself, God, the creator of the universe and the universe itself responds to a heart that is full of gratitude. Okay. Wake up daily with a grateful heart, Royal. Be grateful for your, this week's activities, the deals you signed, sales you made, people you met and jobs you did. Be grateful. That's the hashtag. Thank God for lessons you learned, for added knowledge, and the progress you made spiritually. It's Gratitude Friday, Royal. Count your blessings. Count your bag of cash. Celebrate your wins. Celebrate your achievements. Celebrate God's grace in your life. The pra His presence and His anointing at work in you. So these are the things that we need to do every single day, Royals. Live a joyful life. Be happy always, Royal. I always tell you this thing. Okay, be happy. Be happy. Celebrate your achievement. Celebrate your greatness. Celebrate the anointing of God at work in you. Celebrate His presence in your life. Celebrate His love for you. Celebrate His mercy. Celebrate. Uh, be grateful to him thank him thank him for the souls you met in your business thank him for the signs for the deals you signed you know the contracts you got the tenders and so forth those are the things that we need to do every single day you know gratitude like i always tell you that gratitude attracts more blessings so we have to be grateful to god at all times when you are grateful to god more doors are open for you you know imagine somebody who's ever tired like even if you receive something beautiful you just hold yourself you don't want to say thank you you're just holding yourself god will know the bible says that he that is faithful and need to be entrusted with much so you want more you have to be grateful so we have to be grateful to god at all times royals okay so those are the inspirations for this week royals i hope you were blessed by the inspiration did you learn something i hope you did learn please go to our youtube channel at fountain insights tv and watch their recap you will enjoy it again i always listen to all the messages that i share every time and i get blessed you know what i'm listening to myself i'm not listening i'm not listening to like I'm not saying it's me. I'm like, okay, God is talking. God is talking. So now I have to listen, you know. So I'm just telling myself God is, I'm just a, 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 an instrument being used for the work. So I sit down and listen to the message for myself. And I get blessed. I receive, I suppose I just smack my forehead. I'm like, you wake up, you know. <laughs> I'll do that. I do that today. I'm like, when I, There's something that I received and I was so blessed by it. And as I was sharing it, I'm like, ha, ah, it's me. I said, wake up. You can do better than that. You can do more, you know. So thank God for the word. Thank God for the inspirations. Thank God for everything. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's gratitude Friday. So what are you grateful to God for? Go ahead and appreciate him, Royal. Sit down, put down everything, write down and thank him, okay? So that's what we uh, we do every time, all right? So those are the inspirations for this week, Royals. Hope you are blessed by them, okay? Let me just do a little dance for you before I go. You know, I love to do the dance for you so I can make you smile, make you happy, so you can know that God is really beautiful, Royals, and he wants us to enjoy our lives. Christianity is not boring, Royals, okay? So go ahead and enjoy your life. Enjoy your life, Royals. Enjoy your life. <laughs> all right, that is all, Royals. So I will see you again next Friday for another an inspiration for you recap with I. Right to Shalom. See you again next Friday. God bless you. Go and enjoy your weekend. Okay, don't drink and drive. Go and enjoy your weekend. Go to church and listen to the word of god all right that's all right i'll see you again next friday god bless you i love it also dearly